Black is Beautiful was an effort to sort of throw off the shackles of the way white supremacy constructed black bodies. They're not as intelligent, they're not human, they're not as beautiful, they're not valued. I'm black and beautiful. This brother here, myself, all of us were born with our hair like this and we just wear it like this because it's natural, because uh, the reason for it, you might say, is like a new awareness among black people that their own natural appearance, its physical appearance is beautiful and it's pleasing to them. For so many, many years, we were told that only white people were beautiful. Only straight hair, light eyes, light skin was beautiful. And so black women would try everything they could, straighten their hair, lighten their skin, to look as much like white women. But this has changed because black people are aware. And white people are aware of it too because white people now want uh, natural wigs. They want wigs like this. Dig it? Isn't it beautiful? All right. <laughs> African Americans were living in urban ghettos with high unemployment rates and substandard housing. Many also believed that they were treated unfairly and in some cases even brutalized by police forces which did not represent them. In October of 1966, the two men formed the Black Panther Party for self-defense, later simply known as the Black Panther Party. They organized armed patrols that would follow police officers, monitoring them for incidents of abuse. In May of 1967, the Black Panther Party issued a list of 10 points which stated their beliefs and values. This list included things such as full employment, decent housing, and an end to police brutality. They also sought education for African Americans and justice within the court system. The Black Panther Party also started community-friendly programs, such as the Free Breakfast for Children program. They believed that they could provide for the needs of those in poverty better than the government could. The organization offered other services as well, including clothes distribution, classes on politics and economics, free medical care, and lessons on self-defense and first aid. They also set up an ambulance program and drug rehabilitation services. I definitely feel that that is directly related or indirectly related um, to uh, the whole scheme of still attempting to uh, make the party look as though we're a group of hoodlums or thugs or criminals. The Black Panther Party have been feeding people and clothing people and feeding breakfast for children programs for over two and a half years. You want an immediate end to police brutality and murder of black people? Now that's black power! If I'm for myself alone, who am I? If not now, when? And if not you, who? 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 We need an undying love for black people wherever we may be. All power to all the people. All power to all people! All power to all people! It exists because of this. And this. And this. You shot four bullets into him, sir. He was just getting his license and registration, sir. Which give rise to this. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter is a hashtag, a rallying cry, a movement and it lies directly at the intersection of race relations and deadly force in America. The purpose of our organization of Afro-American unity, which has the same aim and objective, to fight whoever gets in our way. <laughs> to bring about the complete independence of people of African descent here in the Western Hemisphere and first here in the United States and bring about the freedom of these people by any means necessary. You talk about a revolution, most people think violence, um, without realizing that the real content of any kind of revolutionary thrust lies in the, in, in the principles and the goals that you're striving for, not in the way you reach them. On the other hand, uh, because of the way 
this society is organized because of the violence that exists on the surface everywhere, you have to expect that there are going to be such explosions. You have to expect things like that as reactions. If you are a black person and live in, 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 in the black community all your life and walk out on the street every day seeing white policemen surrounding you. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. What did you say you want to do? I said invest in some assets as opposed to trick off my money on some liabilities like diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Cars that lose value so you drive them off the lot. So you're trying to you're trying to get land. Exactly, homie. A real asset. Take care of my people's because you know that's it, it look good, but at the end of the day, you're losing value, homie. It ain't it ain't it ain't appreciating, it's depreciating. It's losing value.